Hey YouTube, it's the test lead. And today's video is how to get a QA job when you have no experience. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, please. I make videos on manual QA as well as automation QA and helping you on your journey. Today's video is sponsored by Test.io, but more about them later. So we all know the same cycle. Every job wants someone with experience, but no job wants to give you that experience. So what do you do? Just stay jobless? No. The purpose of this video is to help you land your first QA job, even if you have no experience at this current moment. And fair warning, this isn't a video telling you you can magically get a job by next week by buying this magic course. No, this is a more realistic approach to how you can get a QA job. So the first part, learn. This part is completely unavoidable. If you have no idea what you're doing, why should anybody hire you? If you have the funds or finances, you can try a boot camp or go back to school. But if you don't have the finances and you are disciplined, you can learn most of the information from the boot camps and schooling by yourself. Use websites such as YouTube, Udemy, and Skillshare. Whether you go to boot camp route, self-taught, go back to school, make sure you learn these key principles. Testing methodology, software development life cycle, software testing life cycle, testing tools, test plans, test cases, and test scripts. If you're going a self-taught route, just dedicate a half an hour to an hour a day for a couple of weeks, maybe in a few months. Be patient and it'll all come together. If you have any questions on your journey, please feel free to reach out, leave comments below. Now to the next part. Part two. Now that you have the knowledge, we're gonna start using that knowledge to get some resume experience. One way to get resume experience and get paid while you're doing it is to work with a company like Test.io, which is today's video sponsor. Test.io, a part of EPAM Systems, is an example and a global leader in crowd testing. With more than 400,000 plus freelance crowd testers in their community from all over the world. They also offer a tester academy along with a special chat where testers can also ask for help and discuss various topics, which can help greatly with the networking part of your career. Once you onboard, you'll be invited to testing cycles. You can use their educational material as well as reach out to other experienced testers on their platform if you ever need help. You can be exposed to various types of testing on their platform because of its many projects. The best part of their platform is that you can get paid for finding or reproducing bugs. All the information that you need about Test.io will be in the description box below as well as the first comment pinned, their website, their testing academy, their referral program. So all that information, take advantage of it. You have nothing to lose. You can also try websites such as Upwork and Fiverr. These companies are middle people for connecting freelancers with companies that need work. The only main drawback is Every gig you get on Fiverr and Upwork, especially in the beginning, you're gonna be making next to no money. So remember, it's just for resume building experience. You're not doing it to get rich. It's very hard to make six figures working on Fiverr and Upwork, especially when you're first starting out. It is taking these projects with low barriers of entries, building up your QA experience, and then having these to put on your resume. Remember, the whole goal is having stuff for your resume. Also, on websites such as Fiverr and Upwork, you may deal with a lot of unhappy customers and very demanding customers. So just be prepared for that as well. Your next option, volunteer and give references. Now I know what you're thinking, volunteer? I put in too much work and knowledge to be working for free at this point. Worry about getting the experience and then you'll make money hand over fist later once you have a job in a QA field. Just remember, right now you're focused on getting experience for the resume. Find local stores that you shop at, maybe in a mall or local convenience stores that have websites and ask them if you can test their websites for free. Now think about it from their standpoint. They're getting that website tested at no cost. They have nothing to lose. Of course, some of them will still say no, but don't get discouraged. Just keep trying. Ask maybe three or four in different places 
And then once you have one or two people that say yes, you're good to go. So make sure in the initial agreement you say, I don't want any payment, but I want to use you as a reference for my later jobs. Mention to them how important testing is and how much they can be losing in revenue because of bugs in their website and overall bad user experience. It's a win-win for everyone. They get a chance to see their faults on their current website without having to pay for it and you are able to get real-world experience. Just make sure you go through the entire software testing lifecycle with your testing and document everything. Then, most importantly, be able to talk about all the steps that you took on interviews. Confidently. Now, a third option, because I'm trying to give you as many options as possible so you have as few excuses as possible for why you can't achieve a QA job, build your own experience. If you have a website, one of your friends have a website or application, test those. Go through a whole testing process. Let's stop right there. True story, for one of my first testing jobs, I had built a mobile application, just a fun side project. And in one of my initial interviews, they brought up, what do I know about the testing lifecycle? And then I expressed to them, I went through the whole testing lifecycle before I deployed my application into the mobile app store. And I went through each step, and then they were just amazed. It's got real world experience for something I even made myself. And I told them how I had bugs in it, how I had to redeploy everything, and then how important that if I didn't test it, I'll have bad application. So the same concept, just how you would document everything if you're testing someone else's website, document everything go through the full testing life cycle with your own website or one of your friends' website. Now we get into the fun part. Mass apply. You're gonna mass apply to as many jobs as possible. The key here, never get discouraged. You're gonna get a lot of rejection letters. Well, emails nowadays, cause that's how everything is. You're gonna get a lot of rejection emails on your journey. Never get discouraged. It's all a numbers game, honestly. So now that you have real world experience, cause you chose one of the previous options, update your resume. Make sure you talk about everything you did I have separate videos talking about resumes and cover letters that you can watch after this. But in short, make sure you have the key buzzwords on your resume that QA people use. That way when recruiters are trying to filter for different resumes on websites such as LinkedIn and Monster and Indeed, you come up in their results. Also update your LinkedIn profile because many recruiters reach out to me on there every day because I have key buzzwords on LinkedIn profile. Now, I'm not even trying to find a job. It's just, I have those buzzwords. So remember, we're gonna mass apply. Apply to between 10 and 20 places every single day. Yes, I know it's gonna get tedious. Like I said, ignore all the denials. It's a numbers game. Do that every day for a couple of months. You can also reach out to recruiters yourself on LinkedIn. Tell them your experience, what you're looking for, and then if they have any jobs that could be a match now or in the future, they can refer back to you. Be proactive. Don't always sit around waiting for someone to help you out. Take the first step yourself. And that's it. Your journey may look different than everyone else's journey. There might be people who get lucky and within the first two, three weeks of finishing this whole process, they find a job. Other people may take six, seven months. It's a process. Don't compare your journey to everyone else's. You're on your own separate path. Don't get discouraged because it's taking you longer than it took one of your friends. Just worry about yourself. It'll all be worth it once everything works out. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel as well as my free newsletter. Also get my new book about QA vocabulary words. It's available on Amazon as an ebook or a hard copy or a paperback. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget, learn something new today.